Prepare yourself for a journey into the shadows of Barbie's legacy as we explore the seven secrets the Barbie movie dared not disclose. From her inception in 1959 as a symbol of aspiration for young girls to her current status as a world-renowned icon, Barbie's journey is far from a simple fairy tale. Beneath the vast range of careers she's adopted and the innumerable outfits she's worn lies a narrative as rich and controversial as the society that's watched her evolve. This voyage will carry us through the pivotal moments of Barbie's history, revealing the unexpected turns and intriguing controversies that have marked her enduring legacy. So buckle up and brace yourselves as we unveil the less-known chapters of Barbie's illustrious journey. Barbie, with a legacy spanning over 70 years, remains one of the world's most iconic toys. Created in 1959 by Ruth Handler, co-founder of the American toy giant Mattel, her inspiration came from watching her daughter Barbara's fondness for paper dolls. Observing Barbara's play, Ruth envisioned a three-dimensional doll that could allow girls to envision their futures as adults. The initial design for Barbie was inspired by a German adult novelty doll named Lily. Yet recognizing its potential for a younger audience, Handler redesigned Lily, making her more suitable for children. This revamped doll was christened Barbie in homage to her daughter and was introduced to the world at the American International Toy Fair in 1959. From her debut, Barbie captured hearts, rapidly ascending to global popularity with almost a billion units sold worldwide to date. Reflecting the evolving society, Barbie has transformed over the decades, boasting over 200 professions and embodying various ethnicities and body shapes. Beyond just a toy, Barbie stands as a symbol of breaking gender norms, inspiring countless girls to envision limitless possibilities for their futures. While Barbie remains an iconic toy, she hasn't been without her share of controversy. Many have criticized the doll for perpetuating unrealistic body standards through her slender physique, predominantly blonde hair, and overtly feminine characteristics. Such portrayals, critics argue, can influence young girls to prioritize appearance and popularity over attributes like intelligence and strength. A notable group championing this perspective was the Barbie Liberation Society, Organization, BLO. BLO. Comprising activists who vehemently opposed the gender norms perpetuated by Barbie, BLO sought to shed light on the potentially damaging implications these dolls could have on shaping a young girl's self-perception and understanding of her role in society. They believed that Barbie dolls reinforced traditional gender stereotypes, such as the idea that girls should be concerned with their appearance and popularity rather than with their intelligence and strength. In 1993, the Barbie Liberation Organization, BLO, executed a daring protest leveraging the identical voice hardware in the Teen Talk Barbie and the Talking Duke G.I. Joe action figure. By ingeniously swapping the voice boxes of hundreds of these dolls in toy and grocery stores, the activists made a poignant statement about gender norms. As a result, unsuspecting consumers heard Barbies uttering phrases like, Vengeance is mine, while G.I. Joes would charmingly suggest, The beach is the place for summer. Through this clever act, BLO aimed to highlight and challenge traditional gendered expectations tied to toys. The web of controversies entangling Barbie extends beyond just the toy, reaching its cinematic representations as well. The 2023 Barbie movie, despite being marketed as a feminist film, faced its share of skepticism given the historical criticisms of the Barbie doll for perpetuating sexist norms. The origins of these film-related controversies trace back to 2017. At that time, comedian Amy Schumer was slated to take on the lead role. However, Schumer, known for her outspoken feminist views, eventually parted ways with the project due to creative differences. She expressed concerns that the script bore sexist undertones and felt it didn't align with her envisioned portrayal of the iconic character. In a candid conversation with The Hollywood Reporter, Schumer shared, I felt like I was being asked to play a version of myself that I'm not, and when I brought my ideas to the table, they were shut down. She voiced concerns that the script emphasized attractiveness and perfection over depth and substance. Despite Schumer's long-standing association with the Barbie movie, her unexpected exit took many by surprise. Later, the baton was passed to Margot Robbie, who embraced the role of Barbie with evident passion and dedication. Schumer's departure fueled an industry-wide debate. Was the film genuinely feminist in its narrative, or was the label merely a marketing strategy? 
This contention perhaps stems from the juxtaposition of the film's claimed feminist ethos against the traditionally idealized image of Barbie. Following Amy Schumer's departure and the ensuing debate, another point of contention emerged regarding the film's feminist credentials. Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling, both cast in the upcoming Barbie movie, are reportedly receiving identical paychecks of $12.5 million for their respective roles. On its face, this might be seen as a commendable stride toward pay equity, a long-sought-after ideal in an industry historically marked by wage disparities. However, given that Margot Robbie is front and center playing the integral character of Barbie, questions arise. Is equal pay in this context genuinely equitable, considering Robbie's presumably more substantial screen time and character weight? Drop your opinion in the comments, I'd love to know. As the Barbie movie struts its feminist swagger, it's met with cheers, jeers, and even bans from various corners. Some view Barbie's bold, independent persona as a deviation from the traditional norm, igniting a cultural tug-of-war. In the U.S., conservative groups slammed the movie as a woke nightmare. The ripple effect traveled across continents, with countries like Saudi Arabia and Kuwait banning the film, accusing it of peddling a liberal agenda and spotlighting empowered women and LGBTQ plus representation. Despite these fiery protests, even against Mattel, the movie laughed all the way to the bank, hinting at a growing global applause for diverse narratives and identities. Just when you thought controversies around the Barbie movie had peaked, a seemingly innocent map within the film stirred up a geopolitical whirlwind. The sketch, an innocent part of the movie's trailer, unexpectedly included a reference to the disputed Nine Dash Line, a boundary in the South China Sea claimed by China and contested by the Philippines and Vietnam. This sparked swift reactions. The Philippines imposed an initial ban on the film, while Vietnam demanded the removal of the contentious map before release. Warner Brothers responded promptly, pledging to remove the map, explaining it was intended as a simple, playful depiction of Barbie's journey, and certainly not a political statement. Their quick response assuaged concerns, leading to the Philippines lifting the ban. A stark reminder that even in Barbie's world, real-world geopolitics finds a way to intrude. The swirl of controversies surrounding the Barbie movie, rather paradoxically, amplified its already significant stature. With a staggering budget ranging from $100 to $145 million, the film stands as one of the most lavishly funded productions centered on a toy. This considerable investment was astutely allocated. A lion's share was channeled into crafting intricate sets that bring Barbie's world to life, ensuring top-tier compensation for its star-studded cast, and orchestrating an expansive marketing blitz. The substantial financial backing and the surrounding buzz hinted at the film's ambition to be more than just another toy-inspired cinematic venture. The Barbie movie distinguishes itself with its audacious use of pink, saturating everything from elaborate sets to intricate costumes in this vibrant hue. This vibrant aesthetic marks a noticeable shift from previous Barbie films, which leaned more towards subdued palettes. In their quest for the perfect fluorescent fuchsia, the set designers of the film consumed such vast quantities that it triggered a global shortfall of that particular shade. This flamboyant commitment to the color didn't just end with the sets. A striking hot pink mansion was recently unveiled in Malibu, catching the attention of many. It was soon confirmed that this mansion was erected in celebration of the Barbie movie. Adding to the buzz, the property will soon feature on Airbnb for a limited duration, offering fans an opportunity to immerse themselves in Barbie's world. Bookings for brief one- and two-night stays have already commenced, making it a coveted experience for enthusiasts. Adding another layer to the movie's significant expenditures was the deliberate choice to minimize CGI. Greta Gerwig, the visionary director behind the film, expressed a desire for it to exude a more grounded and authentic feel. To achieve this, the production placed a heavy emphasis on tangible, practical effects over computer-generated visuals. As a result, most of what the audience sees, from the whimsical pink slides extending from Barbie's room to the rosy-hued cars, were tangible constructs rather than digital creations. The Barbie movie, as a cultural entity, has been both a beacon of excitement and a magnet for debate. Since its genesis as an iconic brainchild of Ruth Handler, Barbie has transitioned from a beloved toy to a global emblem, influencing countless generations. This influence spans both the imaginative aspirations it kindles and the more profound dialogues it ignites on topics like gender norms and body ideals. 
The film's odyssey towards cinematic release has been anything but smooth, encountering storms of debate over its feminist undertones and claims of pushing a liberal agenda. Yet despite these challenges and even outright bans, its box office triumphs paint a picture of a world gradually embracing diversity and championing the cause of underrepresented communities. Endowed with an impressive budget and a dedication to tangible, real-world effects over CGI, the Barbie movie pledges not only aesthetic brilliance, but also a deeply immersive viewer experience. As it prepares to enchant global audiences, it's vital to recognize that this film's trajectory mirrors the shifts in our evolving society. In this narrative, voices championing change and progress become the architects of the stories we craft and the principles we champion. Regardless of individual opinions on the movie's content, it stands as a powerful testament to the might of storytelling and the indelible mark that Barbie, as a toy, has etched into the annals of cultural history. Now check out our video on the story of Oppenheimer, the father of the atomic bomb.